All right, so we've seen Paul drink a stout, but can he drink a porter? And what's going to happen when he chugs? Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are Dolphin Eyes. And today, we're just going to drink fucking beer. That's so, right. <laughs> let's just go straight into the tail of the tape. Ray, what have we got? All right, so this week from Waterloo Brewing, we've got Salted Caramel, and this is a porter. Comes in at 6% ABV, and as always, pretty sure he's thirsty, so let's just crack these babies open. Let's do it. You know, the color of this reminds me of the Ola Dube that we had with Adam Wickens. That's funny, because the color of this reminds me of your soul. Black. Nice. It's harsh, man. It smells like a stout. It does. It does. And I know stouts and porters are very similar, and I think, uh, well, if you want to find out more about stouts, uh, take a look right here. Let's have a couple sips. Let's find out what's in our glasses. So, cheers, Ray. Cheers, Paul. Let's just do the clink. Boom. And cheers to you guys. Cheers, Paul. Hmm. Ooh. It's fizzy. It's sweet. I, I feel like I'm drinking a pop. If Guinness made a pop, I think this is what it would taste like. No, because Guinness would fuck it up. I, it's carbonated. It is. It is. It's, it's, it's got a lot of carbonation, but the salted caramel flavor is massive. After the carbonation, I do get the hints of, a, a, of that salted caramel it's like if you're at like Atlantic City on the boardwalk, you buy that salt caramel and it's got that uh, sweet but not so sweet taste to it. And it's just as thick as eating it. I'm, yeah, I'm really on the fence with this one. That initial taste was awesome. I was, I was so surprised. Now that I've had a second taste of it, I'm getting more of that stout porter kind of burnt beer flavor. Yeah, I've never had dark beers that have as much carbonation as, as we're tasting here. Yeah, it really, really gets the tip of your tongue. I know I do this a lot, but I'm on the fence right now. Yeah, I've totally joined Paul on the fence on this one. I don't know about you, but that carbonation just really throws me off. Because you generally don't get a high carbonated stout or, and I don't know if this is indicative of a porter, because this is truly the first time we've ever reviewed a porter. Absolutely. So, it's not that bad. It is smooth. I don't want to say this is almost like a black lager. Did I say that right? Block? I said block. 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 Lager. Ah, block. It's a lager block. Lager. Light. Ah, <laughs> cry guy. Yeah, I'm glad it's not a black lager because the only black lagers I've had, I've hated. I don't hate this. I'm just not sure if I like it or not. Like, it is, like, you swish it in your mouth and you, the carbonation is really there. I almost want to say it's refreshing on the palate. I think on a hot summer's day. No. <laughs> Let me retract that. I'm thinking. Fireplace, cold winter's day, you know, this and some chocolate, this Ooh. would be an amazing beverage to have. So does salted caramel go with dark chocolate with orange? I don't know. Are, Let's are, find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do we got there, Ray? It's dark chocolate with orange. Oh, well, how convenient is that? <clears throat> Let's try this out. A little bit of chocolate. And we got our porter over here. Let's see if this works out. Now bite into this. Hopefully I don't break a tooth. Well, that's different. What's that? The notes after you get a little more of that chocolate flavor, even with the orange, I get the saltiness. Of the... Of the, of the, of the beer, like the salted caramel. That's interesting. I just, I can't get over the carbonation. Like I am literally getting bloated as we speak. The belly is getting full. Excuse me. See? I think I'm on the other end of the fence. For me, the lack of carbonation in stouts that I've drank so far, I think is part of my dislike for them. This is surprising. Anywho, um, let's have a couple more. Let's have a couple. Are you, are, are you busy? Is yeah, you, you know, it's it's like, you, it's almost my bedtime, so <laughs> cheers all. I, was, I thought it was your Tinder date <laughs> calling. <laughs> no, my wife wouldn't like that. Well, not anymore. Really nice steak. 
with this, I think would be fantastic. Ooh. Carbonation cuts a little bit of the fattiness. It's a robust enough beer to keep up with the, the rich steak flavor. Interesting, okay, so. interesting. Um, well, you know what? We are doing a beef jerky episode in the next couple of weeks. Um, we would like to know what you guys think we should try for our first beer jerky episode. We're gonna do a series of these things. Yeah, absolutely. And we've we've never done jerky before. It's something new we're gonna uh, jump into. Um, if you've got a fa favorite jerky recipe, let us know. If your if your grandma is stashing away that beef jerky recipe, <laughs> take it from her and send it to us. So, the rules as always. I'm gonna count us down from three. We're gonna throw these down. Whoever gets the <laughs> whoever gets the uh, glass back to the table first wins the chuck. Alrighty. So, three, two. One, and go. Ah. Mm. Uh. Oh boy. Good out, man. Oh God. Uh. Oh, there's that carbonation. If we're thinking about our new, our new scoring system, basically we want to be able to let you guys know how much of this we're actually going to drink in a night or purchase. And it can be one can, a six pack, a 12 pack, a case or a keg. I'm gonna say of this, even though it does taste good, at the most, I'm probably gonna do a six pack and I'm, I'm sharing that six pack. I'm not drinking all of it, but I do like it. It's not bad. I just can't have a lot of it. I really found when I chugged this one, the caramel flavor came out huge. I really enjoy it. I don't know how many I drink in a night, but I would definitely put a 12 pack of this in my fridge. For sure. You know, that is the scores on this guy here. Salted caramel. I don't think I really got the salted caramel in there, but nonetheless, it was nice just to try our first porter. If you guys like these quick reviews, uh, let us know. And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts. Take care, all. So long. All right. So if you want to learn more about stouts, check out this review here. <laughs>